everybody, welcome back to, uh, to Park Bench, and uh, I'm so excited to today to be interviewing Gail, uh, Nick and Normans. Gail is uh, the administrative director. Uh, she is heading up all the behind the scenes stuff uh, with the Nick and Normans location here in, uh, here in Sonoma, as well as the expansions that are happening, which we'll touch on in a little, in a little bit. Um, but uh, I'm really excited to be here. I have to say this at the beginning, Gail and I both were servers here at one point together, and so it's really cool to see you know, see things change and see you kind of take on a uh, um, a really, really awesome role of Nick and Norman. So, yeah, it's well, crazy. Gail, why don't you first of all, maybe tell us a little about yourself and your background with the restaurant and uh, the Nick and Norman's here in Sonora. Okay, well, I started with Nick and Norman's about two and a half years ago. Um, I was coming up on break and, uh, yep, as a server. Um, working on social media and management and um, and then just moved full time into doing the administrative director role. So I don't get to be in the restaurant as often, which is kind of a bummer. I miss it a lot. But um, you know, I get to see it all from behind the scenes and I still run social media and then all of the behind the scenes operations, the uh, POS and the Right. That's awesome. That really, really is. I think Nick Norman's is such a cool staple here in Sonoy. Everybody knows that it's, uh, it's, it's kind of the go-to place for, for so many people. So why don't you, for people who don't maybe know the history of Nick and Norman's, you want to tell a little bit about uh, how it came to be and, and um, where it's at right now. Yeah, so Nick and Norman's, um, you know, it's Greg and Nick Otero, with our Nick and Norman Rios. Norman, behind Nick and Norman's, um, and you know, Walking Dead is filmed right down the road, Alexandria, behind the wall, and they wanted somewhere to hang out, you know, when they're done filming, somewhere close by, people could have a good time, um, and fans as well, not just, you know, crew. So they created Nick and Norman's um, about, let's see, we're coming up on five years in June. So, um, you know, they wanted to stick true to kind of what the building was before. Um, you see a lot of these sort of brick. Um, you know, it was a restaurant before Nick and Norman's. But um, we love just keeping things kind of with like a like an original vibe. Right, you know, right. Like an older time. So it's uh, it's such a cool experience in here. I'll get some. You know, I'll do the footage of it later, but. The, the decor in here is it's kind of like Victorian style, and, and people absolutely love it. Uh, yeah. I know so many people who, who enjoy the, the the look in here and um, and just just come and hang out. So, um, well, want to talk also real quick about something cool that you know maybe most a lot of folks may not realize. Uh, but when COVID hit last year, uh, Nick and Normans did something that was just phenomenal. So I wanted to give you the opportunity to just. Tell people what you know what that was like and uh, what what Nick Norman's did. Oh yeah, we um well we just didn't really know what to do um, as far as keeping our employees working. Um, you know, a lot of them still wanted to work, and so we we transitioned into a grocery store. We had Cisco reach out to us. Um, they were unable to get all of their bulk products to grocery stores because grocery stores don't have that um, agreement and they can't accept it. So they reached out and they were like, how do we get this out to the community? And we were like, we will help you. So we turned this entire space into a grocery store. Um, it was contactless, you order online and people would bring it out to your car. Um, I mean, it was great if we had uh, we just tried tomatoes, which is actually now a menu item. It's a little different yeah. than the way it was sold in the grocery store, but you know it's still pretty cool. Um, I mean, people really enjoyed it. People uh, got access to toilet paper and just bulk meats that were really hard to get, right. and uh, it was just it was really cool to be able to get that out there. Yeah, I remember seeing that and that thing on seven. That was it was so hard to find some of your food staples and. Uh, and here you have a restaurant in town who has a supply chain that they, that can't be redirected, and right. so to quickly be able to pivot uh, and uh, and also keep keep employees employed throughout it was, was really really cool to see. 
Um, I know that Nick Norman is, uh, is big on you know, supporting the Sonora community. And, uh, but even though there's one here in Sonora, I know that there's some big news that is now finally, you know, finally happened there in Chattanooga. So yeah. explain to people kind of what the uh, what Nick and Norman is going to look like going forward in, in, uh, in some other places. Well, we want to do the same thing everywhere we go. We want to take iconic locations, um, stay true to what they were originally, and also, you know, put our own spin on them, our Nick and Norman's vibe, if you will. Right. Um, so we took a end cap of the Chattanooga Choo Choo, which, I mean, everybody kind of knows about the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Right. There's a song about it. Um, so we took that and we kept so many of the original pieces um, of the architecture in there. And I mean, but it looks a lot like this as well, which I think is so cool. So we had a lot of fun with that location. We just started brunch up there. I mean, Chattanooga is a lot of brunch. So yeah. we did start brunch up there. Um, and it's going well, it's great. And we plan on doing that everywhere we go, just you know, keeping true to the location and making it Right, right. One of the really cool things uh, that I remember when I was here uh, was our Sunday night Walking Dead showing. And I know that you know the news is already out. The uh, the Walking Dead is uh, is finally wrapping up. We're in the last season of it now, but. Um, are those those are still going on on Sunday nights? People are still able to come. Is that is that right? Or? Yeah, we have we didn't do that in Chattanooga. Right. Um, you know, we plan on putting it on the TVs that are in the bar area there, but, but we won't do the game parties because that's you know that's a that's a special Sunday thing. It is. We've it is. We've got that going on here. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely do that for the final season. I mean, we can't not. No, I I remember. Uh, and we, we would all dress as characters, and I think yeah. I came I came as uh, as Negan one time, or I'm sorry, the the, the governor. Um, and, uh, oh, you were the perfect governor. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it was uh, it was a lot of fun, and, and uh, I remember those um, the staff here is, is fantastic. So great. Yeah. And um, now, uh, what what do you think uh, is is coming up here at the Sonoy location? Is there a new menu items you want to tell people about, or is it just some cool new features, new merchandise, things that Many people who haven't been uh, into Nick and Norman until the last you know, six, seven, eight months uh, often know about. We did just tweak our menu just a little bit here. Um, um, yeah, I do believe they're going to start some construction on patio trees. Right. Yeah, right in front of our building. So we'll have some outdoor seating, which yeah. is huge. Yeah, absolutely. Um, especially right now, um, people are always looking for that. So right. that'll be huge. And then who knows, with that, we may come some brunch. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then always always new retail items. So right. um, word on the street is that we may be getting some jewelry. Oh, okay, awesome. You know, yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, so we're always, um, the Nick and Normies line was the most recent. Mm -hmm. You've seen the little cartoon, oh, yeah. Norman and Greg, kind of them now, but in like a kid form. Right. So we, we rolled it out for children and had so many adults requesting it that now we have adult shirts as well. Right. So, um, I mean, we're always trying to come up with new fun things. Right, right. That's awesome. It's, it's, it's so cool that, that Nick Norman is, is involved in the community. I know y'all cover it at some point when I, when I get the interview done on the farmer's market, but there's a footprint there as well. Yeah. Nick Norman has its own mini bar there in our farmer's market, and you can go and get uh, get beers and uh, Bloody Marys on Saturday mornings at the farmer's Mimosas. market. Mimosas, which yeah. is such a cool little spot from there. I'll, I'll and that's sure. occasionally actually where we test all of our brunch items. Oh, okay. So, definitely. So if you uh, pay attention to the social media, that's where we'll post um, that we're throwing out some brunch items. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'll make sure to put the uh, the social media tags, you know, kind of on the bottom of the screen. Sure. And, uh, you know, Nick Norris has probably one of the biggest social media followings in town. But if, oh, yeah. for well, some reason, somebody's not following already, y'all should definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely check out their social media. They you get Gailey do a phenomenal job with it. But, uh, oh, thank you. Thank but, you. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun, and um, I'm excited for Nick and Norman's. Uh, I love it. Like I said I've worked here as well, and it's it's so cool to see uh, the folks who've been here, you know, continue to grow the business and uh, and expand the footprint. Yeah, that's um, my favorite. Part. All right. As a last question, this is uh, you know important for people who are coming. What is your favorite menu item on uh, on the Nick and Norman's menu? Your oh go to gosh. go to meal. Okay, so I have a couple. Okay. Well, and I. The um, 
The whiskey salmon is probably my all over favorite. Um, I do blacken my salmon though, sorry yeah. guys in the back. Um, but I do request that my salmon be blackened. Yeah. Um, oh, it's so good. Yeah. Um, and then I, just, I like salmon. So yeah. I also like our NNN salad with salmon on it, blackened as well. Um, and then and our meatloaf, you just I know. can't. Our meatloaf is so good. It really is. It really yeah. is. And, and it's not just a, uh, uh, you know, we call it handmade. I mean, I, I, I've been in the back and seeing the guys in the back, guys and gals in the back, yeah, just putting it all together. together in the pan. Yeah. And, I mean, it, and it's just like a clump of meat, but it comes out so good. Yeah, it really, really <laughs> so, is. It's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. We don't just say that. It really is so good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well. No, I appreciate you taking a couple minutes out of your day. And I'm, I'm really excited that Nick Norman's gets to be the first restaurant that I interview. Uh, I think that it's, it really is a, a, a cornerstone to uh, uh, just as as we know it. And um, I'll include it in the video as well, but if anybody's looking for a day trip, you can easily do it here in, in Sonora, whether you're a fan of The Walking Dead or not. Like, it's kind of cool to see what he says. You can come here, have a great lunch or dinner, and The Walking Dead set is literally, I could throw a rock just about to it that way. So, uh, it's a, it's a really, really cool spot. And I mean, that anybody who comes to Sonoy, you've got to stop at Nick and Norman's to, to have the uh, the full experience here. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Well, Gail, I really, like I said, I really appreciate it and uh, excited to see what comes next from Nick and Norman. So. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming in. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.